Crimson Tide Game Day continues. This is the Koneka Sausage Crimson Tide Tailgate Show. Koneka Sausage, the official smoked sausage of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Also brought to you in part by Cadence Bank, helping opportunity take shape. And by Greenpoint Ag, your premier provider of agronomy inputs and services across the SEC nation. Six. Now live. This is the Koneka Sausage Crimson Tide Tailgate Show. Welcome to the Koneka Sausage Crimson Tide Tailgate Show. It is game day in Tuscaloosa, week three of the college football season, and it's Alabama hosting ULM. Hello again, everybody. This is Roger Hoover. Glad to welcome you back inside the Alabama Credit Union broadcast booth. And I'm proud to begin this show by welcoming in one of the newest members of our team, our Cook's Pest Control sideline reporter for this week between the Crimson Tide and the Warhawks, former Alabama star Christian Miller. Roll Tide, man. Great to have you with us. Roll Tide, Roger. How are you doing? Doing really well. Of course, you're going to be roaming the sidelines today, keeping an eye on the Crimson Tide against the ULM Warhawks. And last week, it was hot in Texas. It was a crazy finish. Alabama got the win. Just what were your takeaways from the victory? Well, I thought we had a few too many penalties. You know, I thought the, uh, the offense line could have played a little bit better and we could have got our run game going a little bit more. A little bit more. But, hey, a win is a win, and I'm looking forward uh, to us bouncing back this week and uh, playing a good game this week. Really offensively and defensively in that fourth quarter when Alabama had to make plays, we saw, of course, Bryce Young get it done on offense with a touchdown pass to Amir Gibbs, great scramble, and the defense did its job as well. They did, yeah, and it just shows you got those guys that you can count on in, uh, in those serious moments, and, and you need that. And uh, it just shows they're great players and great leaders, and uh, you definitely need those kind of guys on your team. We're talking football with Christian Miller. It's presented by Bojangles. It's tailgate time with the Tide and the new Bojangles app. Bring the flavor to your tailgate with chicken, biscuits, and all the fixings by downloading the Bojangles app to order ahead for tailgates and whenever it's bow time. Bojangles, it is bow time, y'all. And Christian, of course, you're uh, with us today on the sidelines as our sideline reporter. Porter, just tell folks what you've been up to since your playing days here at the Capstone were finished. Yeah, so I've uh, had the opportunity to play in the NFL a few years, and uh, right now I'm a free agent, and I uh, told myself I wanted to explore some some uh, other avenues outside of football, even though it still is football, but a different little uh, different route. And uh, I've been fortunate to uh, join y'all staff and also do some radio, so um, I'm excited about that. I'm very excited and grateful for the opportunity to go on the sidelines and offer my perspective, so I'm really looking forward to it today. It hasn't been that long since you were playing for the Crimson Tide, but now that you've had a couple years to think about your Alabama career. What are you most proud of from your time here? You know, the, the biggest thing that I'm proud of is uh, that I was voted captain my senior year. That meant the most to me. Um, you know, obviously winning those two national championships while I was here uh, is right up there with it. But um, to be voted team captain by, you know, all your peers, it just shows how much respect they have for you and that um, they look at you as a leader. And, and, and it just shows that um, you can be counted on. And um, that meant a lot to me. I came from South Carolina as a skinny linebacker. And, um, you know, I came here, put in a lot of work. And uh, I left here as a two-time national champion, four-time SEC champion, and a, and a team captain. So um, all those mean a lot. But I think the team captain uh, definitely takes the takes the role. Did you swing by Denny Chimes on your way here, see your handprints, clean marks? Not on the way here. I was kind of <laughs> rushing over from the radio show, but uh, most definitely when I do get a chance, I like to go over there and check it out. And anytime I have friends or family in town that haven't seen it yet, I love to take them by Denny Chimes and show them. You mentioned you were a captain here at Alabama. Leadership is very important, especially for a week like this, I imagine. You had a tight emotional win on the road this past week. Now you have to get back to business against ULM. Exactly. And uh, that's, that, these, these kind of games are important. When you're, you're coming off of, of a game where you get obviously didn't lose, but um, you definitely had a big challenge on your hands. It's important to bounce back, and you don't want to look back too much, but you want to take what you learned, and you want to go into that next week and, and get back to your standard. And I think that's what this week is for Alabama football, is to go out here and prove that, hey, we need to get back to the Alabama standard this week, and that's what we're going to do. Has that been the message usually from Coach Saban in a week like this? That's that's normally what he, he likes to say, is that, hey, you know, that's not who we are as a football team. It was a great challenge, and all respect to Texas, but we didn't play to our standard, and uh, that's what we need to do going forward, is, is to do our job and focus on what we control, and then that's play to our standard. And I imagine it's a good wake-up call as well, knowing that ULM comes from the Sun Belt, and the Sun Belt had as big a week as any conference had last week with three upset wins. Yeah, you know, you, you never can underestimate an opponent. You know, any given day, somebody can come in and, and, and play their, their best game and win a football game, so you always have to be prepared. Roger Hoover continuing to visit with Christian Miller. And Christian, just in your opinion, what is the tough challenge state for Alabama against ULM? 
I think the toughest challenge is just going out there and sticking to the game plan, and just focusing on you know this week, you know, not letting last week creep in and worrying about what happened last week. Just focus on this week. Everybody doing their job, trusting the guy next to you to do his job, and I think everything will take care of itself. Penalties was such a point of emphasis last week. Fifteen. You obviously know the teams worked hard all week long to clean those up, like they do, as Coach Saban pointed out, all throughout the season. Doesn't right. matter how many are in <laughs> one game to the next. But does that ever enter into your mind when you're playing, trying not to press, trying not to commit another penalty? Well, you know, I think they definitely made that a point of emphasis during the week. You know, we have the practice refs out there who are going to call penalties during practice, and I think that was you know, probably an emphasis. But realistically you know when you go on the road in a hostile environment like that you know stuff like that is almost inevitable you just want to limit it you know you want to you want to make sure you you have as little as possible and uh you know not to make any excuses but it's true when you play with that many people yelling and screaming and it's that loud it can just almost man it's just like a whirlwind sometimes down there but you know i think they'll definitely clean it up because i know for a fact coach saban definitely harped on that this week how important is it just getting back to brian Denny stadium for the next couple of weeks this game's at three o'clock so the early start we had last week I think it's a big deal. You know, it's, it's always nice being on your home turf. You know, all the fans are here. You know, this, this is your, your, what you're, you're comfortable with, you're familiar with. So I think it's important for them, and it gives them a good um, good opportunity to get out there and build some more team chemistry and then get ready for uh, some tough road games they have going, uh, going forward. Alabama against ULM today. The Crimson Tide offensively, we know it can put up some points. Uh, saw that in the first game against Utah State, 55 in that ball game, mostly through the air. What do you want to see from the running game today from the Crimson Tide? I, just, I want to see the old, the offensive line. I want to see them step up, and I want to see them assert their dominance. You know, I want to see them, you know, making those pancake blocks, really, really get them pushed up front to give those playmakers the opportunity. I mean, you, you've got three great running backs, probably more behind those first three guys, but you got the playmakers. You just have to give them the opportunity, and you got to open things up. For them. So I really want to see the offensive line step up and uh, step up to that challenge and, and show that they can be physical and dominant. Looking forward to interviewing Coach Saban at halftime? I'm excited. You know, <laughs> hopefully I'll just get my quick little question in there and let him take the rest, but I'm looking forward to it. That'll be exciting for me. Well, Christian, we're thrilled to have you part of the Crimson Tide Sports Network today as our sideline reporter. Just thank you for joining us so much in the pregame show. Roll Tide. Have fun out there. Thank you so much, Roger. Roll Tide.